Hey guys, it's November, back with another video for you today. So recently, I made a post on my business Instagram asking all of my followers what type of fursuit tutorials they would like to see from me next. I had lots of great suggestions, and one of those is how do you make fursuit eyes? So, in today's video, I'm going to show you how I do fursuit eyes. Now remember, this may be different from the methods other fursuit makers use, but this is the method I use, but there is no right and no wrong way to make fursuit eyes. You can find other tutorials on YouTube. Before we get started, let's go over what you're going to need. You will need some type of crochet mesh. The mesh I use can be found at Joann Fabrics or Michaels. You also want to make sure that the mesh holes are big enough that you can see through, but not too big as it will make it hard to paint. Speaking of paint, you can use any type of acrylic paint, and then get a clear coat of setting paint or a setting spray paint to spray the eyes once you're done painting them. This will ensure that the eyes don't run. A good pair of scissors and some good paint brushes. Foamy's Craft Foam, typically white, but you can use any color. I use black in the video because the scleras of my fursuit character's eyes are black. And then you will also need a hot glue gun and hot glue and a permanent marker. To start out, you're going to want to pick an eye shape that best suits your fursona. Draw that shape onto a piece of craft paper. Once you're happy with that eye shape, cut it out. You will use this shape as a stencil for your mesh and for your fursuit head. With a permanent marker, draw the eye shape onto the mesh. Then design a style of eye that you like best. This can be any type of eye design, anime or cutesy, that's up to you. Once you are happy with it, then move on to paint it. I typically do one color of paint at a time. I paint it and then I dry it with a blow dryer. And then I move on to the next color. I leave things like pupils and eye shines for last. Once everything is dry, spray it with a clear setting spray or paint it over with a clear paint. Once the eyes are all dry, then turn the mesh over and with a permanent marker, paint the back of the eyes black. This will allow you to see through the eyes. You can see an example of this in the video. After all of this, cut the eyes out of the mesh. After you cut them out, test them against the face to see if they fit. You want to make sure that they fit into the eye holes that you have made. Mine do not because the eye holes have been made smaller by the fleece that I'm using around them. So I trim the eyes and test them again and again to make sure that they will fit inside the eye socket.
once I'm happy with the size, I grab the foamies. I cut out a long, thin strip of foamies and wrap it around the eye mesh. This will give the eye that follow me effect. It will also hold the eye inside of the eye socket. I put a thin layer of glue on one side of the foam and wrap it around the mesh. Other fursuit makers tend to do this differently by using plastic eye cutouts or something similar. Once the mesh is glued on, I trim it and then, with a permanent marker, I paint over some of the excess paint. You don't have to do this, but this is something I do to make it harder to see the glue and make it look a little bit more professional. Once it's dry, I insert the eye into the eye socket and adjust until I'm happy with the position. Once I am, I then glue the top and the bottom of the eye. Some fursuit makers will wait to insert the eyes until after they have finished furring the head. But there is no real right or wrong way to do this. It's all up to you. I then move on to the second eye and repeat the same step. And that's all there really is to it. If you find that you have more questions about how I did this or don't understand something I'm doing in the video, please message me and I will try my best to answer all of your questions. Please also consider looking up other tutorials on how to make eyes on YouTube because you might find a method that works a little bit better for you. Anyways guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. I have plans to continue doing more fursuit tutorials in the future, so if there's ever something that you want to see from me, please leave a comment below. Anyways guys, I will catch you later.